Good day. Welcome to our heavenly space. Take the load off. You know the burden brick you have been carrying? Lay it here. Allow us to fill you with peace you are needing and help equip you to maneuver through this physical world and help you to fill your pages in your book of life that God gave to each one of you. You know the man you see stretched out on crosses? His name is Jesus Christ. He is God the creator of the world's beloved son. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ fought for our lives by paying all our sin debt in full by dying on the cross. Yes, Jesus Christ died for you. Yes, for you and I and your family. You are truly loved. Not sure if you knew that. Today's category is a poem. And the title is A New Day. A new day, God, to sing your praise. Not a day to be sitting in a daze. A day to enjoy the new breath of life. And if you have your own family, spending time with your children and, and wife. A day to be grateful and alive. Not just dip your foot in the water. Go out and take a dive. Have no fear. If need be, switch the gear. Life is too short to be relying always on an escort. You have your own security guard always with you. This is so true. When you believe in Jesus and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, he will provide you with the ultimate sword. We are covered under his wings. So go out into the world and be happy and sing. Let's go and dial God. How? We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, help remind us of your love and provide us with your love. As well, increase our faith and hope. Provide us with the food we need for today, along with health and strength. Provide us wisdom, which we ask in faith, and provide all that we need to get through today. Amen. Jesus, tend to our prayers. Jesus, tend to all our prayers of all our listeners and viewers of your holy people. We place all these prayers and requested blessings in your hands, Jesus. We ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us go and find out what God is telling us for today through his instruction book of life, the Bible. The first scripture of the day is Psalm 119.72. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. The next scripture is Proverbs 20.15. Wise words are more valuable than much gold and many rubies. The next scripture is Matthew 10, 31. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God 
than a whole flock of sparrows. The next scripture is Luke 4, 18 to 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. The next scripture is Luke twelve twenty four. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for God feeds them, and you are far more valuable to him than any birds. The next scripture is James 4, 7. So humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Psalm 119, 1 to 176. Proverbs 20, 1 to 30. Matthew 10, 1 to 42. Luke 4, 1 to 44. Luke 12, 1 to 59. James 4, 1 to 17. The star in the above and in front of the chapter scriptures represents that Jesus speaks in those chapters. Scriptures. A reminder, we are accepting birthdays, anniversary messages, as well as birthday prayers, anniversary prayers, surgery prayers. We are also accepting spiritual prayers for our loved ones that have left their physical bodies and, and this physical world. So we accept birthdays, anniversaries, maybe the day that they left this physical world, or maybe their birthdays, or maybe a wedding anniversary. Like I said, we do both physical and spiritual prayer requests. And the dates are for January 16th to January 29th. And requests are sent to wishingwell142 at gmail.com and you are to send an email. All these requests and prayers are free. Accept God's blessing for yourselves, your family, and friends today. A reminder, we also accept prayer requests daily for your daily trials and sicknesses, and those are not podcasted. Those are private, and you can find more information on that in the playlist uh, under Requests and Scheduling. And you will send the daily prayer requests to wishingwell142 at gmail.com. Tomorrow's category is a poem, and the title is Symphony Garden. Thank you to all our listeners and viewers. We look forward to you listening and viewing in tomorrow. Have a God-blessed, triumphant Tuesday 
for yourselves and your families. Amen.